Welcome back to Good Day Savannah, 745 right now. Well, this holiday season, Feed the Hungry is making sure that your neighbors don't go hungry. And this year, the agency is expanding that mission further than ever before. 25 cities, including Savannah, will be treated to a warm holiday meal, plus health screenings, free haircuts, live entertainment, and more groceries, too. Now, joining me this morning to tell us all about it, Reverend Carl Gilliard, president of Feed the Hungry. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Cassidy, we're glad to be here. Well, I think, you know, we want to start off by saying, at uh, this time of year especially, there are a lot of people having to make a really difficult choice. Do I pay a light bill or do I put food on the table? So what you guys are doing are, is, is just so important. Well, it's five years later, Cassidy. Uh, 450,000 meals that we've served in five years and 90% of the people we serve are the working poor. So for families that are really uh, looking for help this holiday season, we're going to expand into those areas, 18 cities in one week and then for Christmas over 24 cities. Wow, 18 cities in one week. In How one do you guys week. do it all? I mean, the manpower behind it, I can't even imagine what that must be like, but tell us kind of the operations behind it, something like this. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Mm -hmm. We have the United States Army, the Coast Guard, the Lions Club, uh, organizations, churches, individuals. Families are important, mm -hmm. children are important. Uh, we have, at one event, we'll have about 600 volunteers in Savannah. Wow. Um, and so it, it, it does help from the general public, just everyone each one reach one. Now, of course, of course, what you're doing is feeding people, and that's so important. But what is kind of the emotional um, gift that you receive back from doing something like this? I'm sure you see, uh, you know, get thanks of all kinds from, from everyone that you serve. Well, you know, five years ago, I was in the situation. Uh, my family, the recession hit, and Americans from all over, and we see individuals that are benefiting. Some of the people that were in the line are our volunteers now, and some of the people that were in the line are now on their feet, and they're helping feed the hungry. So it's a great benefit. It really is. And I think it's important to point out people are, are, are looking for help, but not a handout, certainly. these, Like you said, these are working families who are just on hard times right now. That's right. And why is it so important during the holidays to make sure that, that you guys are serving these families? Well, we've got to give some hope. Um, you, there are no boundaries to hunger. Hunger doesn't know any, any color. Any, uh, it, it has a stomach of its own. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what Feed the Hungry is doing is just reaching back to those families that are in need. And Americans right now are in great need. Uh, for instance, Georgia has the highest unemployment rate in the nation. Mm -hmm. So with that, we, uh, we do the food, we do the empowerment, the health screenings, we have job opportunities, and free services from all of our partners and providers. Okay. Now we have um, some information uh, that we're going to put up right there. There it is. For uh, You can check WJCL.com for dates and locations, and there is a list of some of the services that you mentioned uh, happening November 21st through the 26th. And uh, if people want to volunteer quickly, how can they do that? www.savannahfeedthehungry.com and catch that we need turkeys, turkeys, turkeys. Turkeys. Okay, so get some turkeys on those tables and also give your time as well. Reverend Gilliard, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. 748 right now.